slightly better weather on day two here at Old Trafford than it was on day one, but a brilliant day for, for the man of the moment, Steve Smith. You have to really talk about him and, and it's hard to know what to say about him because we've <laughs> run out of superlatives. That yeah. was incredible today, wasn't it? Yeah, I know you're exactly right. What what a player. He, he's just been amazing and you've got, to, you've got to remember he's been out of the game for over 12 months mm. it can't be easy just to come straight back in in a huge series like an Ashes series and have such an amazing impact uh, uh, yeah you don't know what to say he, he just <laughs> loves batting probably more than anyone else in the whole world and uh, he just yeah just keeps piling on the runs he's an absolute run machine I mean you talk about him being out of the game for 12 months and coming back I mean he's just missed a test because he had concussion mm. to come back and score 200 runs uh, what, what do England do besides bowling a, a no ball from a, <laughs> a slow left arm spinner. Uh, it was incredible that that could be a, a, perhaps the moment that the Ashes is lost or won. Yeah, possibly. It, it was one of those days where it just everything went right for Steve Smith. You know, he did make a couple of mistakes along the way. I thought in the first 15, 20 minutes, he looked a little bit scratchy, played and missed at a few balls and thought, oh, maybe he's not switched on. But then he just seemed to get the concentration right, really lock in. Uh, and then, yeah, you mentioned he was dismissed by Jack Leach. <laughs> Only to found that he was overstepping. It just you tear your hair out if you're in the English camp. He played a couple of loose shots, but they seem to fall in the gap. And uh, yeah, sometimes it just goes your way. And, and when you're in form, and uh, it just seems to yeah, it's happen happen like that. There are a lot of a lot of people talking. You know, he, the word Bradman-esque is, is thrown around a lot, but. He seems to be a player who's who's getting better all the time as well. I mean, he keeps batting above his average at the moment. Where, where do you think he could end up? How much better could Steve Smith be? You don't know. That, that That's the scary thing. Um, he, he, he could be anything. Um, we might be seeing, you know, history in the making here. You know, we think, well, no one can beat Bradman, and I don't think he's going to even beat Bradman. But he maybe is pushing the bar higher and higher. We have seen in the history of the game, players are getting better and pushing the boundaries more. Um, maybe, maybe he's the one to do it. And I know there's other batsmen around the world, like a Kane Williamson, a Virat Kohli, that are pushing each other as well. So I'm sure Virat Kohli's uh, watching this as well and thinking, right, well, this is going to motivate <laughs> me to score more runs as well. So we'll wait and see. Every batsman throughout their career will have a bit of a rough patch. But I did hear a, a, a silly stat about Steve Smith that if he gets uh, a duck in his next 30 uh, test innings, yeah. he'll still be averaging over 50, <laughs> which is pretty scary in itself. That, that puts it all into perspective. <laughs> Look, he, he did have some support today, notably from, from Tim Payne. And that... I, how important is that for mm. Tim Payne? Because he has been criticised a lot. People saying, you know, he wouldn't be in the side if it still if it, if it wasn't for the whole way the captaincy. Oh, I, I think he'll be absolutely delighted with his contribution today. You, you're right. Back home in Australia, there's been a lot of talk in the media circles about his place in the team because he hasn't been able to contribute with the bat. And I know that'll be hurting him inside as well. As the captain of the team, the leader, yes, his number one job is to keep, and he's been doing a pretty good job as a keeper. Uh, he Tactically, he's been pretty good. Maybe made a couple of mistakes at Headingley, which he'll, he'll admit to as well. But he wants to contribute with the bat as well. And so he'll be delighted that he was able to do that today. Uh, again, he had a little bit of luck as well. I think he was dropped a couple of times. But Twice. sometimes you need a bit of luck, and it just shows you how hard test cricket is, um, maybe not for Steve Smith, but for everyone else, you know, the mere mortals, you need a little bit of luck along the way. Well, luck, yes, but also England did help Australia in, in mm. many ways today. You mentioned the drop catches, the noble. How much damage have they done to that bowling attack, Australia, with the way they batted today, especially even with M Mitchell Stark at the end there going crazy for his 50? Yeah, they'll, they'll be pretty demoralised, I, I think. Uh, I, I'm willing to cut a bit of slack yesterday when the conditions were really mm. tough, you know, for the fielders and the bowlers. It was freezing cold, nasty wind as well. Um, it, it is difficult to be at your best. But today were better conditions, not perfect, but better conditions, and they didn't help themselves. They, they needed to put in a performance that uh, was a lot better than the the previous day um, the ashes were on the line and unfortunately for England just the spirit wasn't really there um, and they couldn't put it together they had themselves to blame as you said there was drop catches there was a no wicket off a no ball and it, it is demoralizing when the game's just going against you uh, like that it's hard to pick, keep picking yourself up uh, we saw Joe Denley go pretty early again do, do you have some sympathy for mm. for Joe Denley he's kind of been put in that position almost to help save Jay, Jason Roy's test career. Yeah, I do feel for him. He's on a hiding to nothing, really. I, I thought he made a, a very good 50, batting at number four. Mm -hmm. um, he's probably thinking, phew, I've got a score. Uh, I can try and cement my place in that middle order for England. And suddenly, 
the captain or the, the coach have come to him and said, oh, we want to move you up. We think it's more, he's going to help out one of your teammates. And I'm sure he would have been happy to do it, but it's a tough ask, and particularly to come out late tonight when I'm sure there was a lot of tired legs. Uh, the mind would have been a little bit muddled as well. And, you know, there's still a bit of movement in that pitch. If you get the ball in the right area, um, we saw Josh Hazelwood really seeming the ball around. So tough ask for him to come in. I feel for him as well, even as an Australian. But, um, yeah, he was on a hiding to nothing. That's because he's such a nice man as well as being an Australian. <laughs> Uh, obviously, England are in a really difficult position. They were in Headingley as well. It took some heroics to, to get them that game. Is it, mm. it going to take something heroic like that now in this position for them to draw or win this game, which looks like really yeah, difficult? Yeah, that, that's got to be their goal. They're just going to have to show so much resoluteness and fight in their camp. They've got to pick themselves up, and if they can get away with a draw and go to the Oval at one all, then I'll give them a great chance. Mm. But this Australian team, they've played great cricket throughout the whole series. I, I feel as though they've been on top for a lot of the series. Now they've just got to take that final step and really just push through. Tomorrow's a big day. Mm. England will be hoping for a bit of weather just to sort of chew out of the day as well. But they'll be hoping for some good partnerships to really wear the Australian bowlers down. But if the Australians can really come hard, knock England over cheaply tomorrow, then I think they'll pretty much nearly, nearly break the English spirit altogether. Oh, and there goes the nice guy stuff. <laughs> Gone already as soon as it started. Well, there is meant to be a bit of uh, rain about perhaps tomorrow morning, but hopefully it won't take too much out of play. But again, that's probably what England will hope that they will do. We'll find out, so make sure you stay logged on to ESPN Crick Info.